All right, Jason Wolbrandt, the head Greco junior coach here. You're also the head coach for Clackamas High School, mm -hmm. uh, just south of Portland. Correct? Yeah, yeah, just a suburb of Portland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, coach Wolbrandt, you guys are here, and you're doing kind of morning Greco mm -hmm. and then an afternoon freestyle. Uh, do you think you guys' numbers here uh, for the Fargo team, junior team at least, is it affected by the economy? Uh, you know, I think it, it's, it's affected a little bit. You know, I'd say three or four years ago, our numbers were down lower than this, lower than 37. So I was pretty impressed that we had as many kids as we, we did. Um, and a lot of that is just a testament, you know, to Steve. He's got seven kids on the team, and, uh, you know, Neil's got a couple of kids on the team. And, and uh, so I, I, think it, I think it is, but I think that the kids that really want to go back to Fargo, they're going to they're gonna find a way to go back, you know, even if it means doing a little extra work and stuff like that. Neil said that you guys have, uh, I believe, three All-Americans who are not going back. Yeah, yeah. And is for that an sense. economic thing, or what, what's going on the there? The injuries, I think, a little bit. I don't know about Joey Chandler, who was a freestyle national cadet national champion. Um, I don't know what his reasons are. I know Alec Ortiz hurt himself last week at, at camp, tore, his, tore something in his, his ankle, broke his ankle or something. And then um, the other, I don't know who the third one is. But okay, that's what he said. But yeah, there's probably one more. Now, you're an Oregon State guy. Mm -hmm. You're you're a grad. Uh, yeah. How do you you feel about the uh, the direction of the, of the Beavers here under Coach Zaleski? Uh It's it's pretty awesome, and and I think that one of the biggest things that we talked about as as alumni and and you know a couple of my good friends are alumni from here too, is we said that um, we we needed to have we we needed to have a direction change and, and a coaching change, and, and that you know that happened a couple of years ago, and that was that was good, but we needed to get people. Uh, coming back, training, you know, the the, the Pascos and the, and the Clemsons that and the Simmons that were training for the Olympics, not not just not just to coaching, because I think you know coaching staff change is going to help you know only so much, but you need guys in your room that are that have, have goals and aspirations beyond just the college level, and I think when the height when the college guys see that, uh, I think it I think it raises the level, and that's what you're sort of starting to see is these these guys, yeah, they're, they're they want to be national champions, but beyond that, they want to be world or Olympic champions too and, and that's that's going to attract a certain caliber of kid too and that's that's kind of what they're doing. The big note change that I've noticed from when I was here versus uh, you know what they've been able to, to bring with in the last couple of years which is which is pretty awesome. Hey the head coach at Clackamas uh, you had one state champ this year. We, 100, yeah. 189 one, pounder correct? 215 this 215, year. 215 yeah. okay big guy I knew that. Big guy. Um, you guys were not top 10 in, in right your, outside yeah. Just outside yeah. What are you guys going to do at, at, at Clackamas High School? to get into the top ten here in Oregon? You know, I, I think the big thing for us is, uh, you know, the, the way that the state runs their state tournament, um, you know, so many people, so many teams bring so many kids. And so in years past, you could you could have five or six kids. We took sixth in, in 2005, and, and we only had three kids score for us. Um, but you could do that when you, when you only had a small numbers. Now that the numbers are a little bit larger, there's there's more classifications. Uh, the big thing is our kids that are that are going to place, our kids that are going to score points, have got to score bonus points, and th that's something that that Zaleski preaches too. So it's nice that he majors, tax pins, tax pins, getting the bonus points, and and when we placed, when we placed pretty high, the, uh, like in 2005, we had 25 or 30 bonus points, you know, which is almost more than than our other kids score total. So that's a big thing. If we can score pins and we can score tax and major decisions, that's going to be a way to sort of an equalizer to maybe not. No, maybe not getting. We're not going to get 14 kids to the state tournament. We can get seven or eight. But if those seven or eight can score bonus points, it's going to it's going to make a big difference. Put us in a you know a chance to be in the top ten or you know maybe even maybe even a little bit higher. How many guys you got going out to Fargo? We have three. Two, Cody, our two fifteen pounder, and then our, we have two cadet kids going back, um, and they leave. I think they leave today. So and 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 you know there was. Couple kids, and that's where the economic thing I think for me comes into play. Couple kids on the edge, maybe would have gone if, uh, if if they could get more money, but um, you know they had to make a choice. And, and for them, going to our team camp here was was a better economic decision than uh, going back to Fargo. All right, <clears throat> you're an Oregon State alum, and you've got me thoroughly confused at this point. What's going on with the Arizona State? Arizona uh, State this is a good question. Uh, one of my former wrestlers wrestles for Arizona State. Uh, he's there. 97 pounder, finished 97 pounder for him. So every once in a while, it's the only, it's the only 
uh, other other shirt I have besides my Oregon State shirts. And, and actually, I waited to the end of the pile, the end of the bottom of the uh, of the laundry pile to pull it out here this week. So it was Oregon State all the way through this. Week. This was the last one that I had, so I had to pull it out today, hoping that none of the Oregon State coaches came around while I was while I was wearing it. But yeah, I know I'm I'm thoroughly embarrassed. <laughs> and everyone's gonna get to see it. Yeah, everybody's gonna see it now. Yeah, it's okay. Are you got anything else for me, Jason? Uh, I think that's it. All right, man. Thanks, hey, man. Thank you for the time, and yeah. uh, we're going to go get some lunch. Yeah, I know. <laughs>